From one century to another, year after year, from the time of the Turks to the present day, we, the village blacksmiths, we live by running water, burning fires, and melting iron. During the autumn, we bring wood and light the fires. We must have charcoal to provide fuel for the seven fires of the last seven forges. May these fires never go out. The better the charcoal, the fiercer the fire, the stronger the iron. The forge is our light, hard, heavy, hot. But from one generation to another, the inheritance is carried on. In olden days, we forged the swords for knights and warriors. Kings relied on our skills. Our solid pans for baking the best bread endeared us to the housewives. Our implements tilled the lands that grew the corn. Our products were known throughout the country and across the sea. Even today, there is little change. The old rules, customs, and habits are maintained. Our craft is still needed. This water of ours is good. It has a strange power. 
It cools the metal and adds strength to our steel. Even in this modern world, we shall remain blacksmiths. While people ask for our pans and baking tins, our knives and our spades, we shall be here, near to the water and to these fires close to our hammers. They demand our skills, call on our strength, yet they feed us. Life is hard, but is never dull. Sometimes a wheel is broken, but the work must go on, on and on as the running water. We, the blacksmiths, take pride in our work. It is our inheritance. We were born here. And time alone will bring an end to our skills. <laughs>